right behind me there are 26 teams of students. And what they're doing is working together to create recommendations for what a strategy for addressing global energy issues might be over the next century. Our goal is to prevent a, a temperature rise of more than two degrees over 100 years. So each of the teams is sitting with a simulator called En-ROADS. And what it allows you to do is really, really fast see what the long-term implications of various strategies would be. They're working at laptops, plugging in different parameters, different variables to see which would be the approach that would be the best in the long term. That cheaper cost also includes you know, building an entire new power plant. What if we have a breakthrough of renewable energy? What if we have energy efficiency? What if we have a carbon price? So there's some things that we thought might have a huge impact on the energy mix or uh, you know, ultimately emissions, carbon emissions, that are really not having much of an impact at all. You know, just dramatically increasing solar usage doesn't solve the problem. Dramatically decreasing coal doesn't solve the problem. And I say over the next 20 years, which will cover the lifetime of all the coal burning power plants, yep. it declines to zip, like Decrease. that. Like that. Like that. And each of the groups is going to be producing a set of recommendations that they'll then present to their peers and then to a set of Stanford faculty to see which is the best approach. We really liked all of them and so I, I will say that uh, the winner is uh, how do you like these curves? I feel great. It was very unexpected. I mean we put a lot of th a thought into this but we're very excited. I was surprised by how difficult it was to lower the temperature. So I think it was kind of a wake-up call that, you know, we have to start working on this because the longer we wait, the more unrealistic the solutions will have to be. So I think it kind of added a sense of urgency.